At this very moment, the first African-American president is preparing to take bold and historic executive action. And what problem has the leader of the free world chosen to solve with his immense presidential powers? Has he decided to create millions of new jobs for the black community? Has he decided to use his pen and phone to fix our declining schools? Or has he decided to reform a criminal justice system that will send one out of three black men to prison? No. President Obama has chosen to bypass Congress and the Constitution to grant citizenship to over five million illegal immigrants. In the black community, poverty is at an all-time high. We already struggle to provide adequate health care, housing, and education for our people. We have so little as it is, and now we're being asked to share. We've already seen examples of this in Louisiana, when Mary Landrieu and her Washington cronies forced 1,500 immigrant teenagers onto the backs of Louisiana taxpayers earlier this year. In just their first two months, they cost Medicaid in Louisiana $3.7 million, and it made a multi-million dollar impact on our school system. But these 1,500 kids didn't move into Mary Landrieu's neighborhood. They did not move into the gated communities of Mary's fancy donors. They moved into our neighborhoods. They brought their sick to our hospitals. They brought their gang violence to our streets. But why on earth, after all the tribulations we have endured, would we be asked to sacrifice even more? Well, the answer to that is easy. Politics. No matter what the Democrats do or don't do for us, 95% of us will line up to vote for them every single time. And they hope that these five million new citizens will do the same. You are just a vote. And they can always count on you. But to them, you don't count.